look who we got here today. It's Mr. Brandon Dollar. Woohoo! Brandon brought us some animals. Live, real live animals, not the fake kind that he usually brings to his shows. So I was just telling Brandon that I, I think I'm having some kind of issue this morning where it's like, it's like just on the line of whatever the line is where you've had too much coffee but not quite enough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do this. It's been an interesting morning already. Yeah, it's, it's been quite interesting. Brandon brought animals, so I, now, now I'm going to have not just snakes here, because if you've watched the previous videos, you know that Brandon's moving to Wisconsin. I'm taking over what's going to now be the California chapter of Roaming Reptiles. And uh, we're going to do educational shows. I'm going to start with one a week and go from there. He thinks that I'm going to go from one a week to two week real quick, I think. Is that what you think? You're going to go from one to week. One to week. <laughs> one to week. You're going to do... St Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what I tell myself every morning. You'll go from one a week to like five or six to ten. So, be ready. All right, I guess I'm just gonna get ready. So anyway, he, he brought, we got some lizards, we got some tortoises, so that, because kids want to see more than just snakes, I guess. We were just kind of having a similar discussion about this uh, viewing of snakes thing this morning. <laughs> and like, how big they are versus how big they were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's, let's check out the cool animals up there. <laughs> You're going into a whole new show. <laughs> I don't think we can show that. So, a couple of leopard geckos. This is our. This is the female here. She just laid eggs, so put some weight back on her. But these guys are really cool. Kids dig them. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll. I'll after we'll come back, we'll look at them in more close detail. Brendan, not pulling them out, and throwing them back in. Ten seconds. Here's our Russian tortoises. They're always popular. Kids love tortoises. Kids also love soccer. Soccer. My kids have they're in a their soccer thing is called Kids Love Soccer. I love football. I also love football, but even though I don't have a TV to watch it anymore, like I did back way back way back. I'm a Raider fan. How dare you, sir? It's painful. Trust me. <laughs> no, actually, I'm from the Bay, so I'm with you. This one's hard because. I love this animal because she she's done so many shows. I retired her because she's done so many shows, but this animal's been in front of so many people. I love Roxanne. So this is this is particularly hard for me to get rid of her because I, I love this animal. So Roxanne is our red tegu. And she loves to, you know, get scratches and love and all that. Yeah, we're not going to cry today, okay? I see the look in his face is going to make me freaking cry. I don't know, we're not crying today. We seem to do that every time we get together. <laughs> but uh, she'll be good for you. She's she's bigger than Midnight, um, but she's good. And she'll kiss you. <laughs> she'll get lots of love here, bro. And we can do we can do regular FaceTime uh, chats to Wisconsin with her. We Yeah, we will have to because, you know. But I, I know she's in good hands, so that's... That makes me happy. So these are little oh, leopard geckos. This one. That one. That one. Wanna try? Gentle. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Soft. Just pet, okay? I want to pet his right here. Gentle. No no you can't grab it. There you go, pet. He's Good girl. on the tail. Money, careful. Get him, Noah. Get him. Handle him like you mean it, buddy. Buddy, you gotta be. Make sure he doesn't fall out of your hand. There you okay? go. Just like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. No, Leia. Gentle. Where's the tiggo? You pet gentle. Where's the tiggo? Good girl. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. The tortoises didn't have names yet, but I already got one. They're, they're Russian tortoises, so one is going to be Stoli. What? We need Why do you get to decide? I started thinking about the names. Stoli. No, one, one is going to be named Stoli, and then the second one's going to be named... I don't know yet. Mo! <laughs> Stoli? What is Stoli? What is Stoli? Come on. And the other one will be named Charlie. <laughs> Charlie? Stoli and Charlie? I mean, Gold Eyes. 
Gold oh, eyes? Gold eyes? <laughs> we'll Stoli and golden eye. <laughs> no, Daddy, how hot is this? 81 degrees. That's how hot the sun is. <laughs> so Michelle buys me snacks. Yeah. He said he can't eat this first thing in the morning because it'll upset his tummy. <laughs> I, I don't eat. It's so hot. No, it's not about that. It's about that I haven't, I've got nothing in my belly yet. I need to start with something. You start with food. Start right? with food. I usually start with uh, something that's not spicy necessarily. It's not spicy. That's not spicy. Well, I'm not eating anything for another few hours. I'm not eating anything until after the show. I'll take one for later. I'll put it in my pocket. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sausage in your pocket? <laughs> Everybody, please wish Brandon a safe journey over to Wisconsin. He's. This is the last time we're going to see him here until the Midwest, I believe, right? Tinley. 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 We're going to see him at Tinley again. Hope to see all you guys at Tinley. I've got to go play a show, and uh, I'll bring you guys along for a couple snippets, but I'm, it's going to be rush, 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 go, go, go. And I'm going to come back, and we'll take a much closer look at the animals that are that are here uh, that Brandon just brought. So. But I, I want to say one thing. He's taking over Romero Towels. Support this man, because he's going to do some amazing work, and I promise you, uh, you'll want to watch it. So support him. You know, Spread the word that he's taking over and he's doing it, because I think he's going to really just explode, and it's not going to be one show a week. <laughs> there are a lot of funny jokes I want to make for that. I'm not going to do any of them. <laughs> Just keep your sausage in your pocket. <laughs> Apparently there's two Central Coast Brewings within a mile of each other here in San Luis Obispo, and I'm at the wrong one. It's all right. Go to the next one. Now we're at the right place. All right. I found a secret back entrance to where we're playing at. You got to get as close as possible to load in zone as you can when you're playing these shows because nobody wants to walk a whole distance with drum set. Matty, our bass player, his face this morning was pretty messed up. He didn't know if he was going to make it or not because he's having a medical emergency. But he's going to show up anyway, so I'm going to set up full kit. We're going to play back here in the little back area of the of the brewing company and. Hopefully it goes off well. We got some nice tables and chairs to play to in case nobody shares up. I really just want to get back and check out the new animals, man. I'm freaking stoked. Sad for Brandon because he's, you know, but it's, he's, it's an exciting, exciting thing for him to be moving this thing on. I'm looking forward to doing these shows and having some different species besides snakes. Tortoises and lizards coming in all at the same time. It's, uh, it's freaking cool, man. But, yeah, we're going to play this show real quick. When we get back home, we'll check those things out. idea was to be set up in the shade over here and John comes in he's like oh dude I think it'd be better if we flatten you out against that back wall over there because it'd be and now look at Brian's in the hot burning sun good thing I brought my hat and now John's over here in the nice cool shade cool. real nice move John I got an extra sun hat for myself yeah too. I saw that you brought a big sun hat for yourself just in case good thing too because you're in the shade that's just in a, case it gets too sunny yeah yeah just in case it gets a little too sunny for somebody he's got a nice big sun hat I'm just gonna sit back here and shh. Say, you know what, John? This gig's over. <laughs> Teach those guys to put me in the sun. Actually, I just didn't have anybody to hold my camera, so that's really what was going on. <laughs> I ended up being in the shade anyway because the sun moved and I was in the shade. Everybody else was in the hook hook. And look what showed up. My family. My boys showed up. Hello, boys. And we got a new big user. Yeah, you guys wanna you guys wanna go home and, and help me hold the animals so that we can Get some nice shots and film them? Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, I gotta get these kids some dinner. They magically appeared, just magically at the show, and now yeah. I gotta take them home. You too, T? He nodded, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. Me and Noah are gonna film the animals while these two hookooks are sleeping. Yeah. They're sleeping. Wait, did you say girls? Hookooks. <laughs>
Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Leopard geckos. What about leopard geckos? That this is one and you can see directly into it here and they have all kinds of leopard like dots and you can see some blue on them. They have white tails and they can stand up really tall with their legs. They can get a little feisty as long as you support them. This is a male and ow. I have a female, but we already hold it. And the difference is the female uh, has some open greens, but they totally have non-smooth skin. And they have serrated teeth on their eyelids. <laughs> they have teeth on their eyelids? Well, serrated points on their eyelids. See right there. And this male has pokies right by his ear. And they have a completely white belt. And that's all I know. Brandon recommended that we let uh, Roxanne, the uh, Tegu, chill out and just have some space. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these guys' enclosures set up so that they're they're good to go. Hillary wants to put them upstairs, which is freaking sweet. That means uh, that. She wants to take care of them. Hillary is way more into these animals than I kind of expected. I forgot how much she still helps out with the snakes a lot, and she holds the snakes. And but she was always had a fear of of snakes and worms growing up. So, but with these legged animals, these lizards and and tortoises, uh, she's a lot more. She's really excited about like she wants to take care of them. So that's really good for me. And uh, Brandon, again, I just want to wish you safety on your journey, man. And uh, thank you again for trusting me to to do what you do. And I'm really into these. And Noah's really into them too, so. Right when we got them, I wasn't really into them. But now that I figured out they, like, aren't so feisty when they feel supported, I got used to them. <laughs> Aloha. I can't believe that I almost completely forgot about this. Thanks again, Brandon. Now that mommy's gone, do you guys want to bring a snake upstairs? Yeah.